I want to show you how to create keynote notes and legends with inside Revit using either a TXT file or from an Excel file. So here we have what could be a specification on the drawings or uh, certain requirements that maybe a client or a building owner has specified that they want as part of their project. Um, and say, for example, you, you've captured all this information either in an Excel spreadsheet or in a, a text document that we see in the left-hand side. So Revit's format for receiving keynote files is a TXT file. So if you create it in an Excel file, it will need to be outputted to a TXT file or saved as or, or exported. Um, so these are both the same list. The, the one on the left has just been uh, saved as a, a TXT file. So these are all specification notes uh, that were custom captured on a particular project. Um, and they've all been given a number on the left hand side. So you can custom number these if you want. So the purpose of this is, is to capture, I suppose, important information that is repeated throughout a project and that needs to be shown on drawings uh, as notation to, to make sure that it's, it's implemented either by uh, the contractor or the installer for, for whatever the case is. So within Revit, I have a sample project open here. I can see I have a note placed here and it, it's, it's number A17 and the note is door set to allow minimum clear opening of 850 mil new build. If I then go into my keynotes, I can see that A17 is that particular note and the same way that would have started in this particular spreadsheet as well as A17 uh, for that particular note. So in order to implement this onto a drawing, so what I've done, I've come to a, a sample drawing sheet of a file. Uh, going into my floor plan, I know where I want to place this particular note. So I'm going to now go up to my, uh, my annotate tab into Keynote. And just first off, go into Keynote settings. You only need to do this once and you just need to link to where your Keynote file is. So in this case, uh, we've placed it, our Revit Keynotes file. It's on our desktop, but this may be in your, your project folder or it may be on a company server if they're standard notes that you want to implement. So that Keynote file is effectively this TXT file. So that's linked into that. So all I have to do is just click OK in that, and that's just linked in those particular notes. Therefore, when I go to Keynote, I simply just go to Element Keynote, and then I tag what element I want to specify. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to tag this particular door. So this door already has A17, but what I want to do, I want to change that particular note. So I'm just going to pull that note out so I can see it's attached to that door. All I'm going to do is just pull it off on the drawing there. Yeah, and you can add a leader to it if you want, if you want a nice tidy drawing. Yeah, and that's just pointing to it there. And depending how you like your, your keynotes or your notes to be uh, appeared on your drawing as well. So then I have the option to uh, select a different notation for that. So I can go into the key value here. And I know that I've created another keynote called A43 Fire Rating. If I click OK, that will then uh, update to wherever that particular note has been selected. So this has also been selected to have A43. But say I then want to create another note, create another element keynote, say for that particular uh, wall, for example. Um, I want to place a note on that particular wall, uh, and I might want to say wiring for switches. Just click OK. That then note has been placed there, but it's pulled directly from the specification. So anywhere I place that note, that repeat text is going to be used because it's been pulled uh, from that particular TXT file that we've created already. If I then want to update that TXT file, I simply go into TXT file. If I want to update a new note, I create a new line and just hit tab because th this recognizes uh, the tabs. That's how it separates the information uh, because you may only want the, the, the number A6 and just a separate text if you want. Uh, and on this particular note, I'm just going to add a note. I'm just going to say fire rating. Fire rating. Two hours. And you can add, you know, insulation, manufacturing information or any sort of insulation information that you need there. I'm going to hit save on that. Just hit save. Now, I do need to reload. Uh, but obviously, in an ideal situation, you'll have all of your notation already created. But I'll just show you how to reload this. Go into Keynote settings. Just hit reload for the same one. It's been successful. Click OK. Simply then go in, select your notes. Say I want to change that note. Uh, and you can see then in my list, I can just select from my drop down list, click OK. That note has now been loaded in. And that's been loaded in there. You can see it's updated. Now, say I want to place a legend on this particular sheet, uh, denoting every single item that has been placed on it. So, as we can see here, we can do element keynotes, material keynotes, and then user keynotes, which is what we're also doing as well. But it's just, it just they just select different properties. So, on the left hand side, under legends, I'm going to create a legend, select new legend. 
sorry, right click new keynote legend, just click OK. Uh, and the, the information I want is I want the key value and the keynote text. Click OK. So that's created that legend for anything that's being placed on the drawing. It will only create notes for what's actually being placed on your drawing. So if you delete a note or if you add a new note to this particular drawing, it will only appear there. So now I have my legend. I can simply just drag that onto my sheet. And you can format that uh, if you wish as well. So you can see there we've got our three notes, A44, A43, uh, and another note that has also been placed on the drawing here as well. And this is all linked to your keynote text. If I then now place another note, if it's A42 or A17 for specification, that will also populate in here. So you could ideally have all of your specification data in your keynote text uh, element that has been already placed within your, your TXT file as well.